Thank Welcome you. to Bangkok traffic. It's a little bit like an episode from the Blair Witch Project. Wow. <laughs> I reckon that's a good one. And that right there, the Republic of Myanmar. It was nice. only a seven or eight hour drive today. After spending six months planning our attempt to drive around the world, we soon realized that no matter how much planning you do, life throws things at you that are just out of your control. All British travelers abroad are advised, advised uh, to return now. Don't get me wrong. You can't do an expedition like this without the proper planning. But our original plan to finish the drive in 20 months has already taken more than four years. And this week, life threw another obstacle at us. And no, we didn't get the Chinese visa. With China being the only possible, and believe it or not, the easiest way to drive back to Europe, this was the last bit of news that we wanted to hear. People don't take trips. Trips take people. John Steinbeck. After spending most of the day waiting for news of our Chinese visa, we headed across Bangkok to meet up with our friend and fellow YouTuber, Paddy Doyle. Paddy's lived in Thailand for the past 12 years, but when he said he was planning to cycle from the north to the south of Thailand, we knew he was as mad as us, and so offered to drive him and his bike the 500 miles to the top of Thailand. So before we set off today, I just want to show you the map and just show you the route that we're planning to do. So here we are in Bangkok. Now, Paddy's found somewhere up near one of these lakes for the night tonight. And then the plan is we're going to be driving north, like all the way north. He's going to start his bike ride right at the border town of Mae Sai, which is up with the Myanmar border. And then uh, we'll have to reassess. And we, after the news of the Chinese visa then, we're going to have to go all the way back down. But we wanted to drop him off. We wanted to see the north of Thailand before we leave. So uh, it's just a big road trip, which is what we do. Welcome to Bangkok traffic. <laughs> I tell you what, it's not even, it's not even uh, rush hour, mate. This is just uh, what happens when you have 15 million people and tiny little streets to navigate everyone. Million. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we, yeah. we did ask, we did wonder. So I think the plan today, I think we've, Paddy's found us somewhere to, to stay maybe four hours outside of Bangkok. Should be a little bit quieter, I think, Paddy. What do you reckon? Yeah, it should be a lot of traffic for about 15 minutes until we get onto the main road. Then we'll be okay. And I think once we get out of the city, we should have it quite quiet. I think we should. We should just we should just miss Russia. We? Yeah, we should just get out of here in time. Yeah. And I've got a nice little spot for us. I wouldn't say halfway to Chiang Mai, it's more like no, a third yeah. of the way up there. Um, somewhere I've not actually been to, but I did drive past it on my motorbike and I saved it nice. as a place to come back to, so... Nice. Yeah. That's nice. Nice. These are all bike taxis, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Are they, like, official because they got... Yeah, one? yeah. So they normally hang out, you know, outside BTS stations, MRT stations. Because Thai people don't want to walk the 500 metres to their house. It's too hot. It's too hot. I can understand. Yeah. We set off through the busy Bangkok traffic. Hopefully it isn't this crazy the whole way and we get to arrive before it gets dark. We try not to drive in the dark because with unfamiliar roads and the fact that it's harder to see potholes and hazards, it's a bit more dangerous. just spotted something that I haven't seen before. It's just coming past on Marianne's side, I think. Yes, that's definitely a first for me. Three people. There's three people, but that's not a problem. But the one's got a cat. There's a cat on the front of the second one. Okay, well, I just want to say that it might actually be dark by the time we get out of Bangkok at this oh, rate. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we've still got how far have we got to go three hours and 40 minutes and it's nearly five o'clock yeah oh, that's hilarious <laughs> i was like oh yeah we'll pick up the passports at lunchtime we'll be there at four yeah, o'clock we'll be there well, we'll yeah. nice. to <laughs> looking at this traffic i think it may well be dark by the time we arrive at tonight's stop off
Guess what? What? The traffic's still terrible. The traffic? <laughs> this is a traffic, this is chaos. And very bright. Yeah, the sun's going down, so it's low. So to fill up, it's just 31 pounds. That's good. We were For a full empty. tank. For a full, full tank. tank. What did she give you? Did She's she given give you... me water and I'm not really sure what these are. Let's have a look. Pastels. Oh, to eat. Oh, eat. eat them. Okay. Pastel brand pocket inhaler. No, it's an inhaler. Oh, oh it's not up your nose. And then you put it up your nose. Oh. That is strong. <laughs> That's really... And or is it like Vicks? Yes, it's like Vicks. <laughs> it comes in a, in a nifty little packet. <laughs> She's just giving us free water and uh, so we got free Vicks. We're married so I can stick it up your nose. Smell that. Holy schmoly. That's good, isn't it? That's good stuff. And you were looking why, for one of these. But why did they give us cold remedies? I don't know, because they love us. Oh, thank oh, you yeah. so much. That's so sweet. So how much Bob was it? How much was it in total, my sweet? Um, it was just about 31 pounds. That's great. Um, for a full tank, because we were almost, the light wasn't on, but we were right down at the bottom of the quarter mark. That's great. It's still daylight. How long have we got? Just under three hours. Yay. And guess what? Still busy traffic. <laughs> okay, it's five to nine at night. We're nearly there. It's a little bit like an episode from the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> bit of an oldy road, but we're nearly there. There should be a campsite at the end. This is our destination. Somewhere down here, oh, I can see the lake in the distance. This is gonna look beautiful in the morning. Okay, we're in the right place. Let's check in. Hello. Hey, stop it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look at you. Oh, you. Oh, you. <laughs> we followed the owner to Paddy's room as a cook your own Thai dinner was included. Sounds interesting. Paddy is very posh. I've got my own pier out the front. This is glamping. Wow. Amazing. And then this is where we're going to have dinner. He's got his own private jetty. Look at that. That's very cool, that's, isn't it? That's really beautiful. If you cook the meat on the top, but then you put your vegetables in the soup on the outside. Oh, nice. The meat juices go into the soup. Thai style? Yeah. Thai barbecue. Yeah. I can hear frogs. More Thai, they call it. <laughs> this is cool. Paddy showed us how it was done. It's a great, simple way of cooking. That's one we can use when we're on the road. There you go. Paddy's got dinner on. The meat cooking, all the juices flow into the uh, the soup that's brewing at the side. The veg are steaming in the water that's on the side, and they give you this tray of meat. Looks like uh, I don't know what the round things are. Looks like squid, but it might be strips of fat. A bit of lard in the middle. Some noodles, some veg, some chili sauce. Looks good. It feels really cool here. Like really in temperature wise. Oh, yeah, temperature yeah. wise. As well as cool, cool. Well, I reckon it's a good end to a crazy day that we've had today. And we made it here. I mean, we were, we were planning to come here for sort of early afternoon, but it all kind of went a bit wrong. But uh, yeah, we're here. And I know there's going to be a beautiful view with that lake in the morning. Damn right. Well, this looks amazing. Try a bit. As hot as it was before. Mmm. Oh, it tastes good.
That is not a bad view, is it, this morning? Look at that. The sun is just coming up. Wow. See, we never knew what this place was going to look like when we woke up. And we've woken up to this wonderful view, noise of birds. Here comes Paddy. He's running up towards us. Is this some sort of crazy running exercise or? <laughs> Amazing. Although there was a monkey or something on the roof last night. Oh, it was, could have been a squirrel. It was really loud. Like. Oh, really? Yeah. So we're just heading down. I can see a massive herd of goats. This is amazing. Got chickens in the grass. Just for you. Oh, wow, look. Hello. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Marianne's been given a goat. <laughs> oh, look, it's a baby. It's a baby goat. Hello. 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 You're baby beautiful. Goat. Look at you. This is my favourite kind of kid. It's beautiful. And look, they've all come over to say hello. <laughs> Let's show you the little room we had last night. It's a great little room. Bed, little desk, lovely view that you saw this morning, aircon, and a little shower, perfect. Right. Where am I going? We're off. Okay, we're leaving. We're just driving past the goats. It's been a lovely place to stay. Oh, it's so lovely. That's it, just keep driving past. Yeah, he's getting his goats in <laughs> Look at them, bless them. Bless oh, them. lovely. So yeah, when we drove down this road last night, it was pitch black. So we're getting our first sight this morning. But you'll notice it is very hazy, which uh, Paddy says apparently is due to the fires, the farming fires. Yeah, we saw them last night, sh setting a light to the sugarcane plantations. They get two or three harvests a year. And this break in the rainy season, when it's nice and dry, to speed the process up, they set fire to the fields and that causes a lot of smoke and a lot of controversy because they shouldn't be doing it. But alas, they do it. And uh, so end of February, March and April, to be honest, guys, it's a no-go for Northern Thailand because of this. It is really smoking. Yeah. So the destination today isn't really known. We're just going to keep driving north until uh, the driver gets tired and says she's had enough. <laughs> but we'll, it's probably about 10, 12 hours up to Chiang Rai. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep going six, seven, eight hours. So sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. I'll have the chicken. <laughs> Have you tried that food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see all the side of the, uh, the road's been burnt here. Probably adding to the smoke that we've seen today. But still smoking. That looks like a cigarette butt that's been thrown out the window of a car. Looking at the truck in front, it's loaded with sugar cane. A major crop here. And there you go, on cue, there's some on the right hand side. Thank you. <laughs> That's good timing.
been going all day. It's five o'clock in the evening. How you doing, driver? Awesome. <laughs> and the, uh, we've only got about an hour to go till we're going to stop for the night. The uh, landscape's definitely changing. There's more trees and hills. It's greener and lusher. Yeah, it's definitely looking lovely. Sun is going down. We got 15 minutes and we're there. We're in the sticks. I love these roads. You like these roads, Marion? Yeah, these roads are great. They're country roads and Paddy's singing country roads in the back. So we've got it all going on in the back. <laughs> Serenading in the back. Oh, West Virginia. Chicken. <laughs> Chickens. Chickens. Bye. Okay. At the end of the road, we're going left and right. The landscape is beautiful now. These traditional houses and the wooden ones and then the modern ones. <laughs> Why is it as soon as I turn the camera around? It just gets better and better. We're just driving past the beautiful temple there. Wow. Okay, we're nearly there. Half a kilometre. Wow, this is beautiful. Staying at a homestay. The sunset is amazing tonight. I think it's the house over there looking at my map. Just follow it, keep following this Just round. follow it round. Follow the flags. We're in the sticks here. Oh, there, she's raving. She's raving. Hello, mate. How you doing? Mind the little dog. Oh, this is beautiful. We made it before dark. <laughs> what a fantastic spot. Wow, look at this. This is absolutely stunning. We're going to try and get a little sundowner beer. They've got. Um... Oh, garden rose, maybe you might love to go there. And a sprite. Wow. My goodness, Paddy, you've excelled. <laughs> what a fantastic spot. Lovely, lovely. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's a good one. Thank you very much, driver. You're welcome. Uh, it was a, only a seven or eight hour drive today. Cheers, Paddy. Good, good find, mate. Drop in the ocean for you two, innit? <laughs> Look at that for a view. Shop. Wonderful. Yeah, wow, that is a massive kitchen and it goes out there, look. It's like, it's like he, he's expecting the inspectors to come <laughs> It's clean. And Amazing. It's spotless. It's absolutely spotless. spotless. And the reception area here is absolutely stunning. There's a chain on the door there. That is amazing doors. There's a shock absorber. Oh yes. Are you an engineer by trade? It's fabulous. Look, an architect. Oh, TV no, room. There we go. Yeah. And you look at this, and it all works. This locks the door. He's like the nutty professor. You are the nutty professor. <laughs> Isn't that great? Well, I, I I deserve a little credit. I went to the junkyard and bought the these parts, and and I had some of these parts. And then the guy that I got it, I had to do it. He really got into the spirit of it. And he just embellished it. And then he did that door over there all by himself. It's amazing. Oh, Absolutely God. fantastic. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. You are coming a luxury hotel. Wow. How did this happen? We should let Paddy book more often. We should. Look at the artwork. Aircon. The doors. It's just all oh, such beauty. Oh, so beautiful. I'm happy. Hang on. Hang on. One last. Cheers. Cheers. Life is good. It's rare that you see a foreigner in the middle of nowhere building an absolute. It's a fantastic. And what's better is look at that steak dinner we've got. <laughs> and you got Caesar salad. Uh -huh. Happy happy wife, happy life. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Bright and early. I can see they just started to serve breakfast, so we're gonna go grab some breakfast to come up with a plan for the day. What a fantastic place. This is one of <laughs> the best places that we have ever stayed. I feel like I'm at a luxury hotel. It really does. On a budget price. With fast internet, a comfy bed. I just literally, we are, we are definitely, we have to come this way on the way, um, on the way south again. So I think we're definitely gonna be back. What would Ernie say? I'll be back. Oh, wow, melon. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. <laughs> Ernie, what would you say? Okay, Trudy's pretty well packed up, ready to hit the road. Marianne's rounding the geese. <laughs> I've got my food charger here. Well, she's doing, did she get the job? Yeah. <laughs> You're having fun, love? Uh oh. We've got a straggler. Last stretch. Four and a half hours north. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to be back in two days. We're coming I'm telling back. you, okay. it's done. <laughs> it's been absolutely fantastic. I could literally just stay here, stay here forever. Oh, look at the geese with the little goslings. See, as soon as you left them, they've rebelled. They've gone. <laughs> right. They're gorgeous. The sun is shining. It's another beautiful day. See you, geese. We'll be back. It drives straight down. Can't beat rural Thailand like this. Okay, quick stop for lunch. You ready to eat? I'm ready to eat and stretch my legs. Morning, morning. Grupa. Yeah, England. Grupa. <laughs> oh. We were so hungry, we woofed down that um, shrimp fried rice that I never even filmed it. It was very tasty. I had egg fried rice. <laughs> it 
just passing a massive white temple here. That's uh, the white temple of Chang Rai, which we're going to stop off and see on the way down. Arriving in the town of Mei Sai, which is Thailand's most northerly town, and it's the destination. We're going to find somewhere to uh, park up for the night before Mr. Doyle starts his <laughs> crazy adventure tomorrow morning. And I love that off camera, Paddy actually told you how to pronounce it. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so there should be a hotel. Just go slowly, it's just down here. The room, it's called the room. The room, there you go. The room. Right, let's go and see if they've got a room. Lovely. Well, there's a party place right opposite. Our oh, reception's over there. There we go. 202, and Trudy is just down there. So we can keep an eye on her. Oh, does it look nice? There you go, a massive room, big double bed, kettle, fridge, tally, bathroom. Oh my God, it's massive. Absolutely huge. So that's great. Good morning. Wow, it's chilly this morning. Today's the big day. We are heading right up to the Myanmar border to wave Paddy goodbye, because he's starting his long journey south. He's already driven up to the border. Um, actually, he's cycled up to the border on his bike. So we're gonna drive. It's about four, probably four kilometers away. Exciting. It's cold. It's cold. I've got long trousers. Okay, they've got holes in it. Um, <laughs> and I've got, I've got my warm fleecy top. Right, the border is this way. A bit of a nice quiet morning. It's only uh, 7.45 in the morning. I think Paddy's getting, trying to get a start before the sun comes up, but he's got a good day to start today because it's very cool. And it's not windy. And it's Yesterday not windy. Yesterday was so windy. We were all worried for him, uh, thinking he'd be cycling into the wind, but actually the wind has stopped. So we wandered out for dinner last night and had dinner found a little outside barbecue place along this road here. Um, the border towns are always, they're always funny towns um, because they don't get any tourists really. I don't know, they just, they just, they don't feel normal border towns to me. I can't quite pinpoint why. We've got 1.7 kilometers to go and then this road goes to the border and uh, into Myanmar. So we'll drive as far as we can. Hopefully we can find a, uh, you turn back because we're not going to Myanmar. <laughs> no, we would actually love to drive through Myanmar and go over to India, but unfortunately, foreign vehicles, foreign vis uh, visitors, uh, unless you're on a day tour with a guide or a tourist flying into the center of Myanmar, you can't do it, it's not allowed. That's really some quite interesting parking. Blocking a lane. <laughs> Okay, that is the border, so we're going to U-turn and park by the side of the road, which everybody seems to be parking across the lane, although we will stick out too far, I think, so I think maybe just park in here flat. Right, let's go and see if we can find Paddy, he should be up by the border. Nice looking temple. <laughs> I always find these border towns, they're so manic and busy. And then you find this beautiful temple just sitting there, absolutely glorious. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty hustly and bustly already for this time in the morning, really. But there's a real energy, isn't there? That you can yeah. just feel people are bustling around. Look, there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> morning, Mr. Doyle, how are you doing? Are we all energised and ready? I said to Chris, he's not going to be waiting, he's yeah, going to be like, Whoa! Having a bit of breakfast before Paddy hits the road. Mm. He's getting fueled up. He's got a lovely, look at that, curry and rice and an egg for breakfast. 
Marianne's got like these dumplings. Oh, capon crap. Thank you. She says the sauce is amazing. Chicken dump. Go, go in. in. Go, go heavy. Go heavy with that. Or go sauce. home. Go heavy or go home. It is. Mm. That is lovely. You have to try that sauce. You have to try the tea leaf salad. Okay. Oh tea leaf salad. This is Burmese. What is in it? Tea leaf and tomatoes and peanuts. I think the green stuff's kaffir lime and coriander, maybe. I've never heard of that. Tea leaf salad. You spit, you spit. You're going to love that, I think. Is it spicy? No. We're heading right up to the border. There is actually a sign, I think, that says Thailand's most northerly point, which seems the perfect place for him to start, seeing as he's going from north to south. Breakfast stands, we've got some chestnuts roasting there. All these bikes, look at all, the whole side of the road is bikes. There he is, cheating, he's hurrying up, look. <laughs> the northern most of Thailand. It almost. It almost works. <laughs> and that right there, says the Republic of Myanmar. Yeah, we're right here. This is the busy border town. A lot of trade, a lot of immigration ties, yeah. Burmese coming and going. Wow. Well, obviously you guys aren't allowed to go. <laughs> no, this is the end of the road for us. But it's the start of another one. <laughs> that's yeah. true, that's true. Well, I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll overtake you tomorrow. We'll go and drink cappuccinos while you're... <laughs> I gave Paddy a sticker. And Tread the Globe is going all the way from top to bottom Love of it. Thailand. Love it. Some free advertising for you there. Thank you, Paddy. <laughs> I'll pay you later. I'm actually thinking though, we're we're gonna be doing almost the same route. Now we've done twice. We've got all the way to the top and now all the way to the bottom. So we're warming up the road. But you are mental and fabulous for doing it on that. Mad, I think. But mad in a good way. Yeah. So go Paddy. Bye! You've got this! You can do it! Woo -woo. I'll see you in uh, Malaysia. Yay! <laughs> As Paddy starts his new adventure, so do we. Subscribe to join us next week as we start the long journey south and come up with a plan on how we're going to continue our around-the-world drive and our route back to the UK.